Resident Evil Village is just a week away and people instead being scared actually want to have a face to face interaction with the lady and her daughters because her daughters just love to lick our faces and the lady has well she has big things but they are not the only villains you will be seeing in the game throughout all the trailers we have heard of the name mother miranda who everyone apparently worships as she is a witch but she has four main lords one of them is lady dimitrescu and there are three more Karl Heisenberg. Now this man we have seen a lot of times earlier in the trailer as well. He is the same guy who is dragging us to somewhere and is also the same guy who holds a big hammer, wears a sunglass and has a fancy leather hat and a leather jacket. Apparently everybody loves fashion in this game. He has his own factory named Heisenberg Factory as he is an engineer. This factory is located in another region of the map, a place where there is no snow, which means it must be in a much lower altitude. But it looks like that's the first person you will be meeting. Then comes Salvatore Moreau, who is an old looking fella. Apparently his face got melted by ladies farts. <laughs> you must have seen in horror movies where there's an old lady just walking by apparently for some reason and just says to you that hey this place is haunted in a more creepier voice. Yeah that man reminds me of her. He lives by a reservoir close to an obsolete fishing village. According to this image there's a windmill and there's also a ladder on that windmill which means we can climb it. In the recent trailer we did see a whale like creature in the water which we will fight. It will be very interesting to see what kind of interaction we will be getting with that whale kind of creature. I mean yeah it's a zombie apocalypse but I mean it's Resident Evil you know they take it like to various heights. Now comes the most frightening one for me. Donna Beneviento and her puppet Angie. Well this lady is very frightening because of how she looks. Her face is completely covered and she has a doll with her which apparently acts as if it's alive. I mean what's not creepy than than that? The director says that he was surprised that people in US thought of her as the most scariest villain. How is that surprising to you director? She is frightening. She she has doesn't show her face. I mean she might be beautiful inside and she's not Oh, maybe she is too beautiful and probably people will just come after her. Um, I'm maybe I, maybe I do understand. They live in Beneviento house which is in the village and no visitors have ever gone there. And it also looks sort of similar to Baker's family house. The director even says that in many ways this house is an evolution of horror elements from Resident Evil 7 and there might be a connection to the previous games. Well those are the main villains of this game and by looking at this we can totally confirm that this game is going to be huge. Not only that this game has a map and it shows different areas in the map that you will be going to which means you will have much more open space to like you know discover to explore and that is what this game is also focused on. Along with these villains you will also be facing you know the normal enemies such as werewolves in the village and inside the castle there's these other kind of zombies who are under or uh, living in the cellar those kind of zombies you will be fighting as well those are normal enemies that you have fought in other Resident Evil games as well Resident Evil Village is coming out on May 7th that is next week and for those of you guys who are playing on PC well you can play the demo that consists of both village area and the castle area on May 1st and 2nd that is this weekend The whole game will be having a 60 minute limit to explore both village and the castle area and you can understand what this game is all about and see whether you can play in your system or not. I'm so much excited for Resident Evil Village that is coming out next week and I'll be doing a let's play series on this very channel. So consider subscribing to this channel right now. And also if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. That helps me out a lot and comment down below what do you think about all the villains that I just talked about. And if you haven't watched the previous videos where I played Resident Evil Village demo, you can click the video on the screen right now to watch some of those videos as well.